Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and today I am joined with Kenzie. Hello! I am so glad to be here yet again for the billionth time. <laughs> I'm glad to have you back, bro. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, as the wheel has has spoken for us, um, today we are uh, reading Dunkney. Uh, Duncan X. Courtney. Great. Yep. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've never I'm been... ready. i never been so excited to read something in my life. <laughs> Me too. Can't you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? <laughs> yep. And both of ours. Yeah. Yeehaw. <laughs> I hate the ship so much. <laughs> hey. I, get, I know everyone likes it, but I just really don't think it's that good. Dude, Honestly. yeah. I want to, like, make a, like, I just want to have, like, a video of me and you going through the total drama ships and ranking them, because I feel like that'd be really interesting. Oh, <laughs> to yeah. To see our opinions. I would, I would love that, actually. <laughs> well, alright, future video, right there. But, in the yeah. meantime, it's time for some reading. <laughs> yep. Oh, lord. <laughs> I gotta make sure I opened up the right Google tab, because I have one piece on the other one, and, <laughs> and then the Wattpad. <laughs> Alright, so this one that we found is called I Still Love You, a Dunkney fanfiction. Fanfic. And it says may continue, so. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Many years have passed, and Courtney still, still can't forget about Duncan and Gwen's kiss. She really hates Duncan, but Duncan still loves her. Courtney and Gwen's relationship has ended ever since Total Drama All Stars, but what happened to Duncan and Courtney? Well, the. Will love happen for Duncan and Courtney? Will Scott get in the way? Will Gwen and Courtney become best friends again? Find out in this book. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm guessing this takes place after... I'm guessing this takes place after All Stars. Yeah, that, oh, that's what Lord. it seems like. So so we have oh, a ship... <laughs> have a, after a shitty season, we could follow it up with the book. And who knows? Yep. <laughs> this art! <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> oh gosh. Trying to forget about the past. Do you you, you see the same art I do, right? <laughs> of course. <Courtney>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Want to make sure I wasn't going crazy or anything? Yeah. All right. Well, okay. This actually looks re like <laughs> decently written for 2017, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, uh... uh, who, uh should we flip my Luffy hat to see who goes first? Yes. All let's right. do it. Let's flip the hat. Alright, so, hat sitting, sitting straight up with the ribbon showing, or uh, the bottom. Um, I'll go with straight up. Okay. Let's see. All right, I go. Okay. All right, let's see. Good luck. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> We're both gonna do it. I meditated and like and like got myself in the right headspace today, and now it's gonna be ruined with this. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this will be the best thing we ever read, and it's just like yeah. a shitty ship. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Courtney's point of view. It's been many years since the little drama I was stars, and I still haven't forgotten about Duncan and Gwen's kiss. I s still, I still feel very awful for lying to Gwen about going to the final two together. Tears start <laughs> to drip down my cheeks as I thought that because I lost my best friend, the only person who cared deeply about me, and I ruined our friendship. I wiped my tears as I got off my bed. I grabbed my clothes and put them on. They were my regular clothes I wore in Total Drama. I walked downstairs into the kitchen, grabbed cheese and crackers as I started to eat. As I finished eating, I started to walk to school. Not knowing where I was going, I bumped into someone. Huh? Hey, watch it! I didn't recognize the voice until I looked up. Cliffhanger! <laughs> and cliffhanger! That was of the- Of course! <laughs> also, isn't she like 18 at this point or no? <laughs> I think she is. I'm pretty sure. So this takes place in like the future. Oh yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. Uh, to be fair, like they they recorded so many seasons, they probably missed some high school years. So <laughs> they probably are retaking yeah. like their grade. <laughs> probably. <laughs> All right. Chapter two, which is the drama comes back. <laughs> the drama comes back. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be so good. <laughs> At least it's bearable to read. At least it's yeah. not like horribly misspelled or like one big paragraph. Or there's no uh, talking about zombies like the last. Oh time my god! <laughs> I'm here. The zombie talk. <laughs> okay. I guess. I guess seeing who it was, I tried to apologize, but she turned away, which made me frown. I sighed sadly as she walked inside the school. I guess I deserved that. For what I did to her, she'll never forgive me. I looked down sadly at the thought. I bumped into another person. Ugh, Harold. Watch it, doofus, I gasped again, seeing who it was. Duncan? <laughs> I mumbled, so, I mumbled, starting to get angry. Oh, hey, princess, didn't see you there, Duncan said, nervously rubbing his neck. Don't call me princess, I growled, getting up in his face. As he rolled his eyes with a smirk, look, I know that you're. Look, I, I, look, I know that you still like, <laughs> like, like me. Admit it, Duncan <laughs> said, flirting, walking up to me. I growled as I kicked him in the kiwis. Damn, Courtney. Damn. <laughs> this is getting great already. <laughs> yep, very accurate. <laughs> mm hmm. I knew that I knew I knew that you still like me, Duncan said in a high pitched voice as I rolled my eyes. Shut up. Aren't you with Gwen? I asked, folding my arms. I am? Duncan asked as I nodded. Oh right, Duncan said, chuckled nervous chuckled nervously as I rolled my eyes again. Duncan here for real Jesus <laughs> Hey Gwen Duncan called out to Gwen. Yeah, what is it? Duncan asked. Duncan, Duncan. Th th then she, then she looked at me. Oh, hey, Courtney. Gwen said, Gwen said, not excited. I just wanted to tell you that I'm breaking up with you. What? <laughs> Duncan told Gwen as, as me and her guest. Wait, what? Why? Gwen asked, folding her arms angry. Because I don't love you anymore. I love Courtney. Jesus Christ! What is happening? <laughs> also, uh, at the didn't All Stars end with Duncan going to fucking prison for blowing up Chris's like, like vacation house? Yeah. Shouldn't he yeah, be exactly. in prison, not going to high school? Exactly. Exactly. And didn't they already broke up? Yes. Like, what? Why are they freaking up now? I'm I can so confused. Maybe he has amnesia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. This oh. is great. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Oh, oh jeez. <laughs> and also, why would you break- Dude, these two, like- he just broke up with Gwen in front of Courtney, and his reasoning is because I don't love you anymore. I love Courtney right next to this girl. <laughs> what? That's a wild shit if I've ever seen it. <laughs> like what? The heck? That's like that's like the same thing of like I've been cheating on you for years, and I'm gonna go leave you for that person. Right. Oh my god. What the heck? Why? Jesus. <laughs> You can continue. I just like I was like, wait a fucking minute. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't blame you at all because that that caught me. That like completely caught me off guard too. I was like, what the? Dude, this is a fan fiction went from like ten to a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Oh god damn, alright. Alright, continue. Okay. I'll try hard. <laughs> okay. Duncan told Gwen. Gwen glared at me as I gulped. Uh, and you still wanted to be friends, huh? Well, it doesn't seem like it since you're trying <laughs> since you're trying to convince him to break up with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh god. 
Let me, let me look. Gwen, Gwen growled as she stood up in front of me angrily, and I took a step back. Wait, no, Gwen, that's not it. I'm not trying to convince him to break up with you, I swear. I wouldn't buy this shit! <laughs> mm -hmm. I explained, but she just scoffed. Whatever. Gwen mumbled. Actually, she didn't convince me. I started not to love you ever since two years ago! Dude, you've been in a relationship for two, like, for that long, like, two years ago? You're like, nah, I don't really, I don't know how you fuck with right? this. Oh my why god, that's- tell, Why would you tell him that just now? Yeah, that- Oh my god, that's awful for the other person! Exactly! Oh my god! <laughs> don't I don't know why I'm laughing at this, but- No, no, uh. it's fine, I'd be laughing at it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally so funny. For some reason. <laughs> so you're telling me in this fan fiction, they got together in, in a world tour, and then like I guess like after like the rush of the honeymoon, he like didn't love her anymore, and like yeah. all stars pass, and then he still didn't love her, but still kept the relationship. Right? Like what? The backward ads fucking logic you got, Duncan. <laughs> yeah. So good to Gwen as she growled. So then why haven't you broken up with me yet? Gwen Yes, this is the question that yeah, I want answered. I Gwen yelled Finally. as she stood up in front of Duncan, which made him back up scared. Because I knew that you would react like- No, she wouldn't! <laughs> Don't tell me what she would and wouldn't do! <laughs> You're always oh not caring God. about me. You're always caring about tr- No, she's not! Are you- s I'm not. I can't. <laughs> but I, I can't. Oh I can't. God. But I cared about you, Duncan yelled back. Huh, says the guy that on last Valentine's Day who mailed me love notes to Corny and didn't even and didn't even give me anything. Oh my god, why would you do that? Right. That is dude. <laughs> Duncan, you don't get this many bitches to be like this, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my word. I cannot with this. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Gwen yelled as tears ran down her cheeks. You you did that for me? I asked Duncan trying not to get Gwen mad, but she just glared at me. I was the one who cared about you, and all you care about is Courtney. <laughs> Gwen cried as she pointed at me. Well, at least I... Haven't been all boring lately. Oh my god! Duncan yelled as he stood up in front of Gwen again. She's not, she's not boring, she's goth! It's something different, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> exactly! Duncan, what the fuck? Hey, I wouldn't even be saying anything about her being goth, dude. If, like, at a first glance, I would've thought you were goth. <laughs> exactly. Or like, emo. I mean, look at you. <laughs> Maybe if you got rid of that old yee ass haircut, maybe get some bitches on your dick, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gwen backed up as more tears were dripping down her cheeks. That's it, we're over, Gwen yelled. She kicked him in the- Oh my god, this boy- This guy's not having kids. <laughs> yeah. She, mm -mm. she kicked totally him in the not. kiwis and then left him cr left crying. You're such a jerk, I can't believe you hurt my best friend's feelings, I growl at Duncan. This is a girl who didn't stop to eliminate her own best friend. Duncan scoffed as I gasped, and then Duncan walked away. It is true. I didn't stop to eliminate her. <laughs> ring, ring! <laughs> Great, now I'm late for class. I growled as I ran to the- to drama. I- oh, I ran- t What? <laughs> as I ran. Drama. I can't believe Duncan made me late, but luckily I was able to make it to drama. I was still sitting down when someone grabbed my shoulders and pulled me, pulled me to them. Corny ba Barlow, is that you? I turned around and this is a person who I didn't want to see. Oh Another boy. cliffhanger. Yeah, let's go. I don't, I don't know. Oh my god, that was so much. <laughs> Way more drama. So I don't know what to do with this now. <laughs> I don't know about anything! <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. I need to get it together. <laughs> okay. Me too. I guess began seeing who it was. Heather? I mumbled with a growl. I mumbled with a growl. Courtney, Heather mumbled with a growl as well. Whoever knew a CIT would want to lose a lot. Seriously. Though your parents must be so disappointed in you. Heather chuckled with a smirk as I growled. Um, excuse me, excuse me, Blainly? May I go to the next restroom? I asked Blainly to raise my hand up politely. Um, that's Miss Blainly to you. Wait, Blainly's the teacher? What? Dude, you're like, oh yeah, wasn't it like the end of World Tour? She, like, got, like, no one wanted to work with her anymore? <laughs> oh, yeah. So maybe she was just like, this is like her plan, like, probably plan E. She probably had a lot yeah. of plans. <laughs> She's like, oh, I guess I'll be a teacher, I guess. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Blaley Blaley snap. Huh. Huh. As as if we could call you Miss Blaley, even though even though you're our teacher doesn't mean you have to you have to boss us around. Oh oh that. Also who also whoever knew that you had a crisp and clean shrine. What? However, Chris snorted as I said. Oh, Heather Chris McLean, Heather snorted as I <laughs> didn't chuckle as blatantly growled. Also, could I go to the restroom, Blainly? Heather asked. Not until you both say Miss Blainly. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Or else you girls won't be able to go to the restroom, Blainly told us, holding her arms. Me and Heather rolled our eyes. May we go to the- wait, may we go to the restroom, Miss Blainly? Me and Heather both asked. Hmm, let me think about it. How about no? Blaley told told us as we both ran to the restroom. Hey, get back here, girls! Blaley yelled as we as we stopped at the restroom. Now, what was I gonna do again? Oh, right. Now I remember. I said calmly that I tackled Heather. <laughs> what? <laughs> as she started to hit me back. This is for trying to steal my boyfriend. He Heather Heather yelled as she then tackled me and then slapped me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so- wait, what? I'm so they had to go to the bathroom just so- just so they could have a fight? Like, what? Oh, are they um, talking about Alejandro? I was- I totally forgot he was a character! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, I remember! That one scene where she was flirting with Alejandro, Courtney. Oh yeah, um, you're right. Cause yeah, he was trying yeah. to manipulate Courtney to get her booted off and then was making Heather jealous. Oh my god! You're right. Oh, <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> ow, I- Ow, I did not try to steal him. He- he was manipulating me. I growled as I snapped Heather back. We- we were gonna- we were gonna hit each other again before we could- could hit each other. Duncan grabbed me as Alejandro grabbed Heather as we both tried to hit each other. Wait! Wait, are they not supposed to be in the girls' bathroom? Yeah, I was just days? thinking, why aren't they at the in the women's bathroom right now? Why the fuck is Duncan and Alejandro in here? <laughs> right? Exactly. Exactly. Like, <laughs> let me at her. Let me at her. I growled at I, I growled at Duncan. I I need to get back at her for trying to steal my boyfriend. Heather growled at Alejandro, which made Alejandro gasp. I knew you still cared about me, Alejandro said in a flirtatious voice as Heather stopped trying to hit me as I as I did the same. I do not care about you, Heather growled at Alejandro as Alejandro smirked. Then he pulled Heather t into a kiss. Now there's a picture of them kissing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, they are so gross, I gagged as Duncan pulled me into a kiss. What? Did he just broke up with Gwen this morning. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why? Why is he kissing her just now? This is oh my god! No consent was asked. <laughs> exactly. So just just to clarify what happened, uh, Corny be sitting in class, and then Heather shows up. They both ask to go to the bathroom. They go. Uh, they start beating the shit out of each other in the females' bathroom. I guess Duncan and uh, Alejandro were just waiting in the stalls for their cue. <laughs> Pull them off, and now they're kissing their respective partners. That's- that's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. weird. Oh my God. God. And I thought my library was weird. This is the- <laughs> the weirdest book I've 
I've ever read. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh god. I saw Gwen about to go to the restroom, but before she went in there, she saw me and Duck and kiss. I knew you still liked him! I can't believe you! Quinn screamed at me as she stood up to me as Duncan pulled away from the kiss. Wait, no, Quinn, I can explain, I said to, to Gwen walking to her. Leave it! Gwen growled as she left. I looked at Duncan annoyed that then kicked him in the kiwis. What the heck is wrong with you? First you break up first you break up with Gwen for me. Second you and my friendship with Gwen again. Then you kiss me? I ground kicking Duncan in the kiwis again. Jesus Christ! He's been kicked four times this morning. <laughs> right? Like damn. The man used to go to an ER. ER. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it seemed like you enjoyed the kiss. Duncan smirked as I blush. Dude, um, like, it doesn't even say that he gets hurt and like squeals in pain. Does he? Does he just have like a cup now for like making sure that thing doesn't happen anymore? It's like made out of steel. <laughs> like, what the? Um, as if I never enjoyed the kiss. The kiss with you, I I said I said stuttering with a growl. I knew it. You still loved me, Duncan. I mean, I knew it. You still loved me, Duncan chuckled as I growled. Then, then I walked into class. One hour later. <laughs> <laughs> the bell rung and finally I was able to go home. Once again, not knowing where I was going, I bumped into someone. Huh? Oh, hey, Cordy. I, I gasped, realizing realizing who it was as they smirked at me. How many fucking characters are there going to be in this? <laughs> Another cliffhanger. Dude, there's... There's so many chapters of it just being like, we bumped into someone, and guess who it is? <laughs> exactly. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see. What the hell is gonna happen? Alright, it's, this one's called Talking to a Friend. Alright, let's see if I can muster my own strength right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Gwen's point of view. When I ran out of the bathroom, I decided to skip school. I still can't believe Courtney would kiss Duncan. That's so uncool, it burns. I growled as I, th as I thought that. I ran into my room crying on my bed. I wiped my tears away and decided to text my best friend. Dude, this must be one hell of a day for Gwen. She was like walking to school and then Duncan's like, Oh, hey Gwen! Oh, by the way, I'm breaking up with you. I'm still in love with Courtney. And then she yeah. goes to the bathroom and sees them kissing. I would be mortified. <laughs> same, dude, same. That's <laughs> just... That's just nah. Alright, this looks like a text conversation. Let's see. Hey, Bridget, yeah. you wanna talk? I skipped school because Court Courtney kissed Duncan. You skipped school? And Courtney kissed Duncan? I knew he wasn't good enough for you. I know, and I can't believe her. Now I hate her even more. I know that you still hate Corny about that whole chart thing, but that doesn't mean you have to hate her forever. To be fair, she like straight up stole now your ex boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Newly fresh out of a relationship too. She didn't even wait yep. a day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Are you saying this because Courtney is your best friend? Well, uh ma when the fuck has Bridget and Courtney ever been friends? I knew they were on the same team uh, in the first season, but like they yeah. don't really interact, do they? I mean, they did a little bit in Island, but in the other seasons, not that much. Yeah, because season two, uh, Bridget got eliminated right away. Mm -hmm. And then World Tour, they weren't even on the same team. Exactly. Yes, I, I don't even know where the fuck this came from. <laughs> Me neither. No one knows. Well, um, maybe, but you're also my best friend. Well, that's okay, since she's really your best friend. I don't know what to do. Well, if I were you, I would apologize to Courtney for avoiding her all day and to start over as friends again. No! <laughs> Bridget, that's awful advice. That is such bad advice. Bridget, what? I'm sending this girl out for failure right now. Yes. <laughs> that's Absolutely. great advice. Thanks, Bridget. That's not great advice. <laughs> You're the bestest friend I've ever had. Just don't tell Lashana that, though. 
Huh, okay, I won't tell her. And anytime you need advice, just don't do that. Don't ask for advice. <laughs> yes. But and that's not great advice, Gwen. What the heck? <laughs> I will. Thanks, Bridget. Gotta go. I put my phone away. Man, it was great to talk to Bridget. No, <laughs> she was really an amazing friend. I smirked at the thought. Wow. Yeah. It's Another cliffhanger. Yeah, we did. We still haven't figured out who Courtney bumped into. Yep. <laughs> it's the same thing at the end all the time. This is some weird ass shit already. All right. Uh, ch what chapter? What number would this be? Chapter five. You're back. Yep. <laughs> Courtney's point of view. I looked up seeing who it was. I gasped with a smile as I hugged them as they hugged me back. Hey, Courtney. I didn't know that you were this excited to see me. Scott smirked as I smiled. You're back. I'm so excited that my boyfriend that my boyfriend is in the same high school as me. Huh? I, <laughs> wait, what? She just got bro broken up with, right? There was no, like, time skips. Yeah. yeah. What is going on here? Now she suddenly has another boyfriend? What? That was fast. <laughs> that was so fast. She didn't even mourn the relationship. Well, I guess... Well, I guess it was Duncan and Gwen that were together, so maybe Courtney was still dating Scott. So that means she cheated on Scott with Duncan by technically kissing him! <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> Courtney! This bitch is down bad. <laughs> she really is. Oh my gosh. What's the mage right now? <laughs> oh lord. I cannot. <laughs> I'm so excited that my boyfriend is in the same high school as me. I smiled as Scott smiled back. Boyfriend? I heard someone ask. I turned around as I looked to see Duncan. Ah, how dare you steal my princess away from me? <laughs> Duncan yelled at Scott as he tackled Scott. What the fuck? I guess pulling Duncan away as he then smirked at me as I blushed. Wait a minute, Courtney, are you cheating on me? <gasps> <laughs> he just no. realized that now. Maybe- maybe Duncan should be in prison. <laughs> yeah, I agree. How the fuck did it get- get out? I died. <laughs> also, wait a minute! At the end of All Stars, what- didn't she, like, already break up with Scott? Like, they got together and broke up in the exact same episode. Yeah! Yeah, they did! Yeah, did this person finish All Stars? <laughs> I don't think they did. <laughs> Maybe they paused on that episode and they're like, "All right, I'm gonna go write some fan fiction." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like never return to it. <laughs> wait, no, wait, no. Why would I ever? Scott asked a little annoyed. Wait, no. Why would I ever cheat on you with a bad boy who broke my best friend's heart? <laughs> I gasped, pushing Duncan to, to the ground as Scott smirked at Duncan. Wait, you mean Gwen, right? Scott asked, asked as I nodded. Gwen, the goth girl who started to hate you after the whole chart incident? Scott asked again as I nodded again. But she's the worst. She voted you off on Total Drama All-Stars. When I see her, she's gonna pay. Scott growled as, as he stomped his, stomped his feet on the ground as I glared at him. No, she's the greatest friend I've ever had. I gr I growled at Scott. I growled at Scott, standing standing in front of him, angry. What's wrong? I I thought I thought you hated her after she kissed Duncan. Scott said as I looked down. Well, you could say that. I mean, I'm still heartbroken. I I said sighing. But but you're over Duncan, right? Scott asked, raising an eyebrow. Of course I am. Why would I still care care for Duncan? As if I would still like him, I said, rolling my eyes. Hey, I I know that you still care about me because we shared a kiss earlier. Duncan smirked, oh, getting shit. getting up. As Scott gasped, "You kissed him?" 
Scott Gath. Poor Scott. Oh <laughs> I, 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 I hate Dave Scott. Courtney. I hate him in Revenge of the Island. But, like, dude's yeah. getting shafted so hard right now. Right. He really is. Like, damn. Wait, no, Scott, he kissed me! I told Scott, pointing at Duncan. So Scott got up and Scott got up in Duncan's face, growling as Duncan did the same to Scott. What are they, dogs? A lot of growling going on in this fan fiction. <laughs> look, look, Bug, this is my princess. Got that? Duncan growled at Scott, pointing at me. Well, 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 you're with that goth girl, Gwen. So she's not your princess. She's my girlfriend and my princess. Scott growled as he stomped his feet on, on the ground. Will you both just shut up? I I yelled as they both stared at me. Dun Duncan, I'm with Scott, and there's nothing you can do about it. So just deal with it. I yelled at Duncan, getting up in his face. Fine then. I'll just I'll just get back together with Gwen. Duncan growled <laughs> as I just backing backing up. Fine. Oh my gosh. I don't you know what. Something tells me that Gwen's not gonna want to go back together with them. <laughs> Exactly. Like, that's not a good idea, dude. Like, what are you doing? Just stop! Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I said as I growled as Duncan left, Courtney! Scott asked, yeah? I asked, turning to him. I'm glad you're my girlfriend, Scott smiled as I hugged him. I'm glad you're my boyfriend, I smiled. But but then my smile turned into a frown for some reason. You're telling me they're gonna have this sweet moment and they're gonna break up to make this fucking Duncan Courtney shit happen? What the yep. fuck? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm sensing right now. Not a chapter. All right, next. <laughs> Another chapter. All right, hold on. <laughs> We're trying to get to the next chapter. <laughs> Going to apologize, part one. Gwen, I swear to fuck, if you forgive him, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> Same. I'm, I, I will don't. turn off my computer mid-recording. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Gwen's point of view. I was going to text Courtney, but then the, bo the doorbell rang. I went downstairs and opened the door to see Duncan. Uh, what do you want? I said, annoyed, as he smiled at me while walking up to me. What do you do? He saw me by- That is not consent! <laughs> he saw me by kissing me. I was then shocked, but I kissed him back. Gwen! Whoa, why did you just kiss him without her consent? Dude! What? <laughs> Look. You, you didn't even try saying anything to her, and you just like straight up just like kiss. Yeah, like, you broke up with her, alright? Yeah, it's- this is- this is awful. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry, but... Oh my god. <laughs> have we ever run a fanfiction this bad before? I feel like we have, but I don't remember. Yes. I mean, I, I don't know if we had, honestly. I kinda I mean, we've had some. We read some pretty, uh, interesting ones, but this one... Oh my gosh. Hold on, now I got- I got, I'm like, looking through my- our lists of things that we've read. I feel like the weirdest one that we read was the- the- the Sh Chasmin one. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, but, like, that definitely was. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anything else we wrote was this bad. <laughs> Maybe, did we, did we no. read, oh shit, did we read like a Noah X Cody that was kind of weird? That was like discontinued? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, maybe that that maybe that one. Maybe this would be a runner up. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Look, I know that I was stupid to not give you anything for Valentine's Day and I'm really sorry, but I'm also sorry for not seeing that you're better than Corny. I he's fucking lying through his teeth right now. I fucking know it. Exactly. <laughs> Took and told me as I looked down. What do I have to do the what do I have that Courtney doesn't? She's beautiful, but look at me. I'm just a goth girl that everyone just hates, I told him. You're more than a goth girl. You're the goth girl who I truly love more than anything. 
Duncan told me and putting my head up as we both smiled at each other. He kissed me again and I kissed him back. And besides, Courtney is just a girl who likes to boss everyone around. Duncan says as we both chuckle. Uh, yeah, you are correct. Courtney really does like bossing people around. <laughs> How the fuck is this gonna turn into a Duncan x Courtney? Cause like, he's trying to get back together with Gwen, yeah. and then Courtney's already in a relationship with Scott, so they're gonna burn their bridges and then get together? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh lord. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why? I said with a chuckle. Although she is hot, Duncan mumbled, but what he didn't know is that I heard him. Oh, uh, seriously? Uh, why did you say that? I asked, backing away from him, looking mad at him. Uh, I said that you're really hot, Duncan told me <laughs> nervously, as it did a fake smile. He is such a terrible liar. Thanks, you're hot too, I told him, kissing him. So, what? we're back together again? Duncan asked. To- I- <laughs> I don't Who the fuck says totally? To a fucking like, like, will you be my girlfriend? Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally is like li like a like such a thing that liars do. Like to be like, yeah, I totally like did folded the laundry. Or like, yeah, I totally locked like walked the dog today. The fucking liars. <laughs> Always you suck and totally. <laughs> right. <laughs> and your prize will kiss. Also, you knew that he said that Courtney was hot and you're still gonna date him? <laughs> God! What the heck? Oh, oh God. Alright. I, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney's point of view. I should really go and apologize to Gwen. Kissing Duncan was a horrible mistake. I mean, seriously, he kissed me. I walked to Gwen's house and I knocked on the door. She didn't answer, so I just opened the door, seeing Duncan and Gwen hold hands. <laughs> you just fucking breaking and entering? Is that some. <laughs> I guess. Wait, why am I so shocked? I already have a boyfriend. Also, didn't you guys just have a fight where he's like, fine, I'm gonna go go make out with Gwen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the writing is so- I'm sorry, but the writing is so inconsistent here. This like, is- this is like using fucking character AI where the fucking bot just forgets its own shit. Exactly. <laughs> Gwen and Duncan turn to me. What do you want, and why are you here? Gwen asks as I rub my arm. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for kissing Duncan. I'm really sorry, and- Gwen did something to me, which really shocked me. Please tell me she just slapped the shit out of her. <laughs> yes, please. If that is not what happened- Damn it, that's not what happens! Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. I've been so mad to not read that. I slapped that bitch. Right. <laughs> that would have made so much more sense. Yes. <laughs> Gwen actually hugged me. She actually hugged me. Look, you could say that I'm a little bit mad at you still, but I also wanted to say I'm sorry for avoiding you these past days. I just wanted to let you know I'm sorry and that I really want to become best friends again. Gwen told me as I hugged her back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, also, that I made that stupid chart thing. I was just so focused on winning and that I didn't focus on my best friend. On, on was my best friend who was you. I told her as we pulled away pr from our hug. Oh, and good news. You may not like the news, and I'm sorry, but me and Duncan are back together again. <laughs> Gwen told me as I gasped, Duncan rubbed his hair, and as Gwen rubbed her arm. You guys are together? Uh, again? I asked. Started to get dizzy. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, are you okay, Courtney? You, you look like you're about to faint. Gwen told me. 
one told me as I then fainted. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so dramatic. Courtney! What, what was all I could hear from Duncan and Gwen? <sighs> Gwen's point of view. It's the most dramatic shit I've ever fucking read. Same. <laughs> everything, everything was going good, but when Courtney heard me that me and Duncan were back together, she looked like she was about to faint. Uh, yeah. And, uh, are you okay, Courtney? You look like you're about to faint, I said. Oh. I, I told Courtney as she then fainted, Courtney! Me and Duncan exclaimed as she fell, fell on the ground, Court, Courtney! Courtney! Duncan said, carrying Courtney in bridal style, which I, which I was, to be honest, a little jealous about. I, I did a glare at him as he chuckled nervously. Don't worry, Gwen, I'm not falling for Courtney again. Yeah, and right. And the same mistake as last time. That is such a lie. Duncan told me as I did a as I did a small smile. Duncan put in Courtney on the couch as we both looked at her. Don't you think? Do you think that she'll be okay? I asked. I asked, worried as Duncan putting his arm around me. Don't worry, Quinn. She. She's Courtney. She'll be o she'll be okay. All right, Duncan told me as I did a fake smile. Uh, I know, I know that he's pretending to to love me just to make Courtney jealous. He's a jerk. Why the fuck kids. are you dating? <laughs> exactly. That's why why did you dating him? Why did you say yes? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Top I'm 10 so dumbest good. people on the fucking planet. Number one, <laughs> Gwen right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. A couple of minutes later, I sat next to Courtney as Duncan sat next to me. Uh, Gwen, uh, Gwen, Duncan, what happened? Courtney asked, you faded when you heard about me and Duncan getting back together. I told her, please don't get mad, I said, nervously rubbing my arm. Oh, well, it's fine, because I have a boyfriend already, which is Scott, if you don't already know. <laughs> Courtney told as Duncan did a frown as I glared at him. Well. Duncan, can I talk to you? I asked Duncan, annoyed. Uh, sure, Duncan said. Be right back, Courtney. I told Courtney as she nodded with a smile. Make yourself at home, I told her again as she nodded again. I grabbed Duncan's ear, going to the kitchen. Ow, look! What's wrong with you? Duncan asked. What's wrong with me? Ugh, how about what's wrong with you? I told him, angry, as he, as he looked guilty. What's with your guilty face? I asked him. Okay, don't be mad, but I love Courtney so. What? Duncan, you sassy face. As I made a bad face, looking away at him. So why did you decide to get back with Gwen? This guy's a fucking idiot. He's, he wants to have his cake and eat it, too. Like, oh my god, bro. You can't have it both ways. Exactly. Get out, I told him. What? He asked. I said get out. If, if you like her, then leave me alone. You're just trying to make her jealous. I told him, pushing him out the door. Wait, Quinn, please, I'm sorry. I... Courtney cut him off by kick kicking him in the kiwis again. Oh my gosh. How many times is he gonna get kicked in the kiwis? Five. It's been five times. Five freaking times. Dude's not ever having kids. Exactly. Absolutely never. <laughs> How dare you break my best friend's heart? You'll never change, Duncan. Courtney yelled at Duncan as he did a frown. Courtney, can you please shut the door? I whispered at Courtney as she nodded and as she shut the door on Duncan. I cried on the ground while hitting hitting the ground. Quinn, I'm really sorry about whatever happened with you and, and, and Duncan when you were talking talking with him. Court Courtney told told me putting her arm on my shoulder. He he told he told me that he liked like you still and I realized that he was being together with me just to make you jealous. I told Courtney as she gasped. I, I I knew that he, that he wouldn't change. He's such a jerk. He's such a jerk to let you go go for, go for me. C 
Cordy told as I looked at her. I knew that he would leave me for you because you're beautiful and awesome and everyone loves you. But, but you look at me, but you look at me, ah, but look at me, I'm just me. I told her at, at, as she shook her head. That's not true. You're beautiful and awesome, awesome to you and everyone loves you. Also, and everyone loves you. Also, Cordy told me as I as I smiled at her. Aw, thanks, Cordy. You're an amazing friend. I told her as I as I hugged her. So, friends? Cordy asked. Yes. Of course, friends forever. I told her as she hugged me back. How the fuck is this wow. gonna get turned into a Duncan X Cordy? Apparently. I don't know how. I don't know when. either. <laughs> I really don't know. Our friendship remains. Let's see. <clears throat> Courtney's point of view. I'm so glad that me and Gwen are best friends again. Well, actually, we're friends-ish, but I can live with that. So, you want to go watch a movie or something? Gwen asked as I nodded. Want to watch a scary movie? Gwen asked with an evil smirk as I looked up at her nervously. Oh, no thanks. I'm just gonna go over here, okay? I told Gwen as she looked at me. Gwen ran and ran up to me and grabbed my hand, pulling me to the couch. Oh no, you're gonna watch this one, Gwen told me. Why don't- why would I- hold on. Why would I do that if someone forced me? I asked her annoyed as she rolled her eyes. I'll give you ten bucks. Gwen told me with a smile. I was about to say something, but I didn't. Fine, as I gave in, she smiled at me. Cool, want a hot Cheeto? She asked as I nodded. Okay, I'm gonna pour some in a bowl for us to share. Gwen told me as I nodded again. Gwen pulled the bowl that had hot Cheetos on the table in front of me as I took one. Gwen also asked, got a, a disc that said Goosebumps. We're watching Goosebumps, I asked scared. What, you don't think you can handle it? Remember, it's for ten bucks. Gwen told me, waving the ten bucks in my face. Okay, 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 I'll watch this movie with you. I sighed, grabbing a blanket as Gwen did the same sitting next to me. So, we're friends, right? I asked nervously. Well, yeah, you can say we're friends-ish if that's okay with you. Gwen told me. That's okay, I, I get it if you want to be friends-ish and I totally understand. I told Gwen as we both smiled as we both smiled. Okay, I was lying of course. I don't want to be friends-ish. I want to be friends. But I understand, so yeah. I smacked my head. Oh, what am I doing? I'm all of a sudden confessing stuff in my head. Oh, now I'm doing it again. <laughs> what the f- Oh my god. This is some internal monologue shit right now. Yep. <laughs> I smacked my head again as Gwen looked at me. Uh, is everything okay, Courtney? You keep smacking your head. Gwen told me as I nodded nervously. Anyway, let's watch the movie, I said excitedly. Wow, Courtney Barlow excited for a scary movie, Gwen asked. Hey, I can be in the scary movies also, I hope. I told her as I said the last part scared. Last part scared as Gwen chuckled. I've watched Goosebumps before. It's not that scary. It's not scary at all. Like... That's like putting on fucking Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh lord. How- f Wow, Courtney's real chicken if Goosebumps really scares her. <laughs> right. Also, isn't Goosebumps like a kid's scary movie? Yeah. Yeah. It, oh, it is. God. Courtney's a fucking coward. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, come on, Courtney. For real. After the movie. Wow, that was really scary. I said, scared under the blanket. Oh my that, gosh, was... that was awesome, Gwen said excitedly, jumping up and down off the couch. She then realized what she was doing and then stopped to look down annoyed at what she did. I chuckled at this as she looked at me. What? she asked. That was really unusual of you. I can't believe you actually did that. I told her she chuckled nervously. Hey, I can be excited like other girls. But I don't think it's in my DNA. Gwen sighed, looking away from me. And I smiled at her. Being a girl is in your DNA. You just have to act like what? I told her as she looked at me. I don't know. Why do people make fun of me? Gwen asked. 
Nobody will make fun of you because I will always be there for you. I told her, hugging her as she gasped with a smile. Oh, Courtney, always be there for you too. She told me, hugging me back. Are we best friends again? I asked as she pulled away from the hug. Of course, she told me, hugging me as I hugged her back. Yay, we're best friends again! <laughs> Oh Who knew that one child scary movie would bring two people together again? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, even this person in the comments was like, yeah, Goosebumps isn't that scary. Exactly. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, God. Lord. Chapter's name is I'm Sorry. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Courtney's point of view. I said goodbye to Wood Gwen going to Scott's house. While I got there, I saw Scott looking down. Scott, what's wrong? I asked him as I looked, as he looked away from me. Scott, please tell me what's wrong. I told him, starting to get worried. Courtney, I don't think this is working out. Oh, no! Oh, shit, it's going to be another breakup. <laughs> Scott told me as I gasped, wait, what? He's not saying what I, what I think he's saying, right? Wait, you're not saying that I think what I think you're saying, right? I asked him. Yes, I am. I'm thinking that we should break up. No. <laughs> Scott told me as my guest looking away from him. Courtney, I'm sorry. I I interrupted him going back a few steps away from him. How could you bring up with me? I th I I thought you were I thought we were so happy together. I yelled at him crying. I'm breaking up with you because I love Todd. Oh. No. <laughs> Oh, but <laughs> I know this is your favorite ship and everything, so this must be great for you, dude. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> no, what I really, I really hope that the wheel lands on like Dot for the, our next oh. reading. Now it's, it's oh, our Lord. calling. It was in the fucking Jeff and Bridget one. It's in this one. I think it's a sign from God, dude. We gotta read it. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Oh man, this is great. <laughs> Scott told me as I guessed again. You love Dawn? That girl who thinks she she can see people's auras? I asked him as he did a mad mad face at me. Don't don't talk that way about her, Scott yelled as I kicked him and he's running running back to Gwen's house. I really need my friend. Oh, <laughs> Oh man! Wow, look at that! Uh, Duncan and uh, Courtney are both single now. That's yeah. crazy. So crazy. I wonder what's going to happen next. God, if this is like a shitty rush ending, that make this book even better. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's see. This one is "I Still Love You," Courtney's point of view. When I ran to go see Gwen, I bumped into someone. I fell backwards, almost hitting the ground, but someone caught me. Huh? Oh, hey, princess. Didn't see you there. I looked up, seeing that it was Duncan who smirked. Ugh, oh, great. Get off me, you slob. I told him while getting up and walking away from him. Wait, Courtney, listen. I'm really sorry about Gwen. Duncan sighed as I gasped. He's never called me by my real name before. Oh my god, that means he's... Change. <laughs> You've never called me by my real name before. I told them. Well, the reason why is because I, I stopped him. What? <laughs> I stopped him by kissing him, and surprisingly, he kissed me back. I'm surprised too. Oh my god. <laughs> Duncan, I just want to say I'm sorry for avoiding you ever since Total Drama World Tour. I just, it's, I haven't, I've been really upset that you kissed Gwen even though we were dating. I'd be mad too if someone cheated on me while I was dating them. <laughs> uh, same here. Yeah, no wonder, no one, girl, valid. This is absolutely valid, your upsetness. Yes. Absolutely. I told him. And I just want to say, I still love you. I told him. He didn't say anything and he just kissed me and I kissed him back. I'm really happy that you still love me. You have no idea how long I want you back. 
Duncan told me as we both kissed, this was a good day. How the fuck is Gwen gonna feel about this? Exactly, they're just, they're yeah. just like passing Duncan back and forth. This is yeah. Like what? The dude, just honestly, just go poly, dude. At this point, <laughs> it's, it's, it'll probably exactly. be easier. <laughs> I agree, honestly. Like, good lord. All right, we're 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 we done it. This is the last chapter. Oh, just one more. Just one more, and we never have to touch this book again. <laughs> Yay! Okay, we can get through this. We got this. I got my emotional support strawberry cow with me. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Court Courtney's point of view. It's been years since me and Duncan have been dating. I. I've become a layer, and, and Duncan still has troubles with the cops. But as always, I bail him out whenever he does something wrong. Duncan told me to meet him at to meet him at the park, so I so I went there. I was waiting for Duncan at the park. Hey, princess! I gasped, jumping. Behind me, I accidentally slapped slapped the, slapping the person. Duncan, I am so sorry. You startled me. I apologized to him as he rubbed his eye. Yeah, I can tell. He said <laughs> as I chuckled nervously. So what are you doing here? I asked him. I asked him, I asked to grab my hand, Courtney, I just wanted to say I love you so much and, uh, and I'll support you in everything you do. Oh my god, oh my gosh, he's about to propose to her. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, so she said it's been, okay, it's been years. Okay, okay. that's good, it wasn't like the next day. Okay, <laughs> so I was about to say, like, what? Like, you've only been- just, I was about to say, you just got back together and you're already wanting to marry her. Dude, dude's down bad right now. For real. Duncan told me- Has he been endowed with one leg, holding a small black box, that, that he had a wedding ring in it. That's why I guess smiling, almost crying. What the fuck is this picture? Or <laughs> Sorry. Yep. <laughs> Courtney Barlow will- Will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Duncan asked. Yes, of course, I said crying as he put in the- As he put the ring, ring on my finger and, and we kissed. Do you like it? Duncan asked. Of course I do, it's beautiful, I told him. You remember how I told you that I didn't have any money? Duncan asked. As I nodded. Well, I lied because I waited in, until I got a lot of money to get you this ring. Duncan told me as I hugged him. Duncan, that is so sweet. I love you so much. I I told him hugging him, and I, and, and I love you more, my princess. Duncan, Duncan told me, p picking me up in bridal style as he walked me home. This was an amazing day. Jesus Christ! I and thought that was the end. I thought it was gonna be like. Remember how I told you I didn't have any money, and you're like, yeah, I just stole this from a guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some stupid shit like that. Oh, um, yes. yay, we finished reading I Still Love You, a Dunkney story. Yay, finally. Oh, oh my gosh, I don't know how much more that I was able to take. I don't know either. Whew. That was really funny. <laughs> I think that's the it worst really one we've ever read. And not even because <laughs> of the ship, it's just because of the book. Honestly, yes. Like, the writing just felt so off, like, with the characters and such. Yeah. Especially Gwen getting back with... Duncan after like the shit he's done. <laughs> yes, that that was so random. The, 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 just like swapping boyfriends back and forth. Right. <laughs> God. I like how oh they made gosh. Dot uh, an actual ship in this book. Oh, that yeah, that was great. <laughs> I still don't get it. I still don't fucking get it, but but hey. <laughs> No, I, I do I do love me a good enemies to lovers, so maybe maybe I mean, that's yeah. the appeal. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I yeah. mean yeah, fair enough. Alright, <laughs> but uh now it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the end of these kind of Wattpad books is that uh, we spin the wheel and the wheel tells us how screwy we are the next recording session. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Which I that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to pull up the wheel before we started. Oh no. <laughs> Please tell okay. Alright, it's pulled up. Let me share screen. 
and then we'll uh, we'll we'll if get this. To, if it's actually going to be Scott and Don, I'm going to die. <laughs> Listen, it's a sign. We we did it. Like it's in this book. It was in the Bridget and, and Jeff yeah. book. It's a it's sign a from God. Sign. Yeah. It's we, a pretty big sign. So. All right. How do I yeah oh, hide that? Oh boy. All right. Uh, who are you hoping to get? <laughs> Something that's not two <laughs> fortress, hopefully, but. Right, as long as it's not uh, Duncan and Courtney, we'll read whatever it lands on. Yes, so. please, gosh. Um, Spin please the gosh. wheel! <laughs> please be something good. Please, gosh, be something good. Another no X, Cody! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can continue reading the book that we were reading! Oh, yay! Let's um, go! Finally, a good option. Holy shit. Yay. Thank you, Wheel. The Wheel has blessed us today. Yes. Oh, God. So, I guess next next time you see uh, good old Kenzie on the screen, um, we're gonna be reading that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, my name is Phoenix, this is Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Goodbye!